What is happening guys, Junius Techie back with another video. Now, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a little bit of surveillance equipment. So today's video was sponsored by a company called Anki. Now, Anki deal with a lot of different types of surveillance equipment, everything from normal dome cameras, bullet cameras, to PoE switches, you name it. And everything about their company and website is down in the link's description. So make sure you go check them out. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at their Bullet C500 security camera. And this is an outdoor camera. So get this unboxed. We'll get it installed, go through the specs, same old, same old. Let's go. So we have quite a few items to look at. So first of all, don't worry about this little cable snest. I've already had this unreeled, but this is what they've sent over as well as the security system. So this is a Cat5e Ethernet cable with a waterproof adapter right there. So, cable. So this bar I did by myself, this is a PoE switch. So as you can see here, we've got a few things. We've got LAN connection and PoE. PoE standing for power over Ethernet. So this is what I'm gonna be using today, but a lot of other people, when you've got more of these, normally would you use a PoE switch, which is also down in the links in the description. And we also have this as well. So this is a power adapter. So this will be if you actually have a power adapter quite close by to where you are gonna be installing this uh, security system. And then this is the 12 volt AC adapter right there, as you can see. But today we're not gonna be using this. Today we are just gonna be using Ethernet, hence why we're using this. So this is gonna allow us to use power of Ethernet. So it's gonna go from the security camera to the PoE, and then from the LAN to my wireless router. So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. So let's take a look at the camera they've sent over. So like I said, this is the C500 5 megapixel Super HD PoE IP camera. So a little bit about this. So we have a drilling template. So this is quite nice. So this is going to allow you to put this anywhere you're going to be doing this. So either outdoor, indoor, you name it. You're going to be put the sticker on and it's going to tell you exactly what where you need to drill and how big the holes need to be. We also have a sticker here. So if you want to put up a 24 hour surveillance and via Anarchy. And then we have the camera itself. So I'll pop the camera to one side for a second. And we'll have a look at everything else they give us. So we have a few different fittings here and different connectors. And we also have some mountain hardware. So they're going to be the screws and they're also going to be the plugs that are going to go into the wall. And apart from that, that's pretty much everything in the box. Let's have a look at the camera. So this is the camera they have sent over today. As you can see, Anarchy there. And we also have a slot here for the micro USD and also the reset button. And it looks really nice. So as you can see, you've got a sun shield going on the top here. I believe is I'm not sure if that's metal. I think that's metal. Not sure. And then we have the 5 megapixel Super HD lens going on there. Uh, black accents going on there. Lens in the center. And it looks very nice. We do have a tilt here as well. So um, you can tilt this however you want it. So it depends where you're going to be installing this. And then we have our base plate. So this is going to be what is actually going to be fitting to the surface for when the camera is optimal. And then the cable coming off, we have two cables coming off here. So we have our PoE Ethernet cable here. So that when this is connected up via the Ethernet cable they have supplied, we can simply just hook that up right there. And then we can just slide over our waterproof cap like that. And then that's going to allow us to use it outdoors. It's not going to interfere with the Ethernet cable. And there is also a rubber grommet going across or a washer to protect it from the elements. So that is also very nice. And then the other one we have here, which will be for the 12 volt AC adapter. So if you're going to power this via that as well, that also comes. Or if you're not going to use it, they also supply this little silicon washer that goes over the side, protecting that also from the elements. So what we're actually going to do is go get this installed. So why don't we do that now? So what we're going to be doing is getting this camera installed. Now, I'm not putting this on the top part of my house. I'm only putting this into my porch area, so it's only about head height. So I am going to be using the drilling template. Um, I'm not going to be obviously talking directly to the camera while I'm doing this, so I will talk overlap, explaining what I'm doing. Now, normally with the amount of space you would have, nine times out of ten, you would attach a fishing wire to your cable. I don't have a fishing wire. So what I'm actually gonna be using in is some wire threaded uh, cabling. So this is gonna allow me to attach my ethernet cable to this, push it through and then back out so I can connect all the wires up. But my area is very small. So where my camera is gonna be seated, it's to the loft area is very small, which I'll show you now. 
So up in here, which is where I am actually going to be installing, uh, getting gathering the Ethernet cable through. So my port area is literally, I'm not sure if you can see, you probably won't be able to see it, it's literally just where this beam is here, is right underneath there. So I'm going to drill my hole, pull the cable through, and then gather my Ethernet there as well. Which is going to be right up in that corner right there, and we are good to go. So I'll probably just speed everything up and we'll probably go from there. Let's go. So as you can see, we have our hole drilled and now I just need to feed the wire through. So as you can see, there's my cable there just dangling and all I need to do is pull all this through and go from there. So as you can see, we've got our cable all routed up and now all we do is install the camera. So as you can see, what we've done is we've got the camera all loaded up. I just need to get my screws and my supports. So that's how I managed to do it. So your area where you're going to be installing this is totally different. I had quite a close space to do mine where the, the porch hatch and where I was installing the camera was very close. Now I do have a very large amount of cabling. As you can see. But don't worry, cable management is going to be in the next part. So what I'm gonna do now is show you through how I'm gonna connect this, and this is through a PoE plug. So this is the PoE plug I'm gonna be using. Like I showed you at the start, PoE in, and then another one to my LAN. So how this is gonna work, I'm, the connection from the camera is gonna go into PoE, and then I'm gonna run another blue cable from the PoE into my uh, wireless router. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna get this plugged in, I'll show you what it looks like after, and then we'll see if the camera's working. Let's go. So, like I said, don't worry too much about the cable management at the moment, but that is pretty much what it looks like. So I am going to organize the cable so it looks differently. But this is from the gray cable is going from the PoE camera and the blue cable is going from the PoE switch plug into the router. So let's go back upstairs and we'll see if this is working. So yes, I did manage to get that all installed. It was a little bit finicky because yes, I didn't have a fish wire or anything to loop through, but I did have some steel cabling that I was able to get through the hole, through the plasterboard, and then straight through routed around. And it was relatively simple to install. Now, if you are gonna be installing this higher up in your house, yes, there is some uh, videos that you can watch online to see how you can do it up in your rafters. But here in the UK, a lot of the rafters where we are are plasterboard, so they're relatively easy to get through and to rewire. Yes, I have a lot of cable management skills to re-ritter when I go down and sort all the cable management out, but I'm not gonna bother you with that. We're gonna go straight over to the computer, load up the software and see if we are live right now. So let's do that. So what I've done is I've went through the website and downloaded the SADP tool and links for that will also be in the video description. And all I'm gonna do is quickly get this all set up and paired and then we should be able to see the camera that we've installed outside. So. I'm gonna do mine in English, go through the process. Yes, install this. And as soon as this is finished, we should be able to see some live feeds. So if I go next year, create a shortcut and then click on finish and click on enable. Allow access and then all I need to do is find my camera. So it's already found my camera right here. So I need to click on the little link here and then double click on the IP4V address. This is gonna send me over to here, which I need to log in with my password and username. And as soon as we have done that, it should come up with this page here. 
Now this is so from here what I need to do is I need to download the plugin. So I'm gonna quickly do that, send it to the same place, give that a quick download. This is gonna allow us to use the ser uh, local server and it's gonna simply go for that, allow access, finish. And then as soon as that is done, click on live view. And we should be able to see the camera we have installed. And there we go. So there is the camera we have installed. As you can see, there is a few different adjustments we can do where we can move this around and um, see if we can get a better image. But as you can see, there it is right there. So in the top left hand corner, it's saying um, it's got the time and date. There's a few things I need to change there regarding to us being in the UK. Now on the bottom right hand corner here, I currently have the volume muted, but if I turn that all the way up, this is gonna allow sound as well. So I can stop this. So if I don't want to record, I can stop it or I can simply click on play again and it'll start playing automatically. So also if we go over the configuration, we can start changing a few of the things. So like your timing settings, uh, servers, net ports, all that good stuff. If you are hooking up more than one of, um, of these cameras. So if you have multiple, I believe this can attach up to 16 cameras. You can also set up the live view parameters and the record files. So wherever you want to save them, you can do that. Uh, you also have your TPC and IP settings for your IP addresses, etc. So if you have different servers you want to attach this to, you can do that as well. Now with the imaging, I can change a few things here as well. So we have brightness, contrast, saturation, and sharpness. So I can change them depending on the configuration I have going. So it depends. As you can see there, if I want it extremely bright or if I want it dulled down, I can do that so as well. So I'm currently watching it on the left hand side here so I can see what I'm doing. The saturation is up. I can move the contrast around and it'll start messing around with it. So I can make sure I'm getting the clearer picture. But that's just the image. So I have I have complete control of the exposure settings, the day and night settings. So if I want the infrared to turn on during the night, so I can have that on or I can have an auto or manual. Uh, I have backlight settings, so if I want WDR, HLC, or BLC area to turn on, or all that good stuff as well. We have complete white balance, so we can mess around with the white balance depending on what we have. You have uh, image enhancements, so if you want digital noise reduction, uh, if you want DNR levels or timings or space, you can do that as well. And we also have video adjustments, so if I want to... So NTSC, which is 60 hertz, which is right there, or I can mirror it. So it depends how I want to run that as well. So you do have full control of this camera, which is amazing. So we have OSD settings as well. So we can change all this sort of stuff as well as, and there is so much more. I'll go back up to live view now. So we are back at live view now. And what I'm going to do, I'm simply just going to go down. I'm going to uh, regenerate the camera a little bit just so I can see what's going on. I'm going to monitor it from my phone and we're going to see if we can get a more of a bigger view picture. So there we go. I've managed to change it. And as you can see, I have now full motion of the outside area for the car park so I can monitor the cars if I need to and of my front door as well. So if anyone does approach my door when they're not needed to, I can also check that out as well. So even from this, the camera is extremely clear. So as you can see in this corner here where the grass is, even on the floor, you can physically see the grass moving. So there's no juttery issues. It is going to constantly record and it is absolutely amazing. But like I said, with this camera, you can install an SSD so you can continuously record, then overlap the recording if you need to. So also, as you can see, if I go to the general tab in the right hand corner here, I have full maneuverability of the display setting. So the brightness, contrast, saturation. Oh, and there you go. So as you can see there, there's a car pulling in already. I have full view of what that car is doing so I can monitor it. So if my car is parked out front, it's not at the moment. If my car is parked out front, I can monitor this just to make sure that my car is nice and safe because it's normally parked around here. So another thing that we've got here, we've got our exposure. So if I set the exposure to one, you can see it'll fully reset. And as you can see, it is very bright. So this is perfect. This is going to allow me to see perfectly what is going on. And there we have it guys. So what we're gonna do is gonna go from sp some specifications about this camera and we'll pop the end of the video right there. So guys, when it comes to the Anarchy C500 5 megapixel POE IP security camera, this has got to be an amazing set. So yes, you saw the installation process of how easy it physically was. And I have to admit the picture alone is amazing. So the PE security camera IP camera allows you to capture crystal clear five megapixel super HD images. So the low light visibility tech enables the network camera to capture color, night vision with the ambient light. 
So the camera is set at 120 decibels WDR and 3D DNR, which helps you shoot crisp images without a massive amount of noise. And this allows you in all light conditions. The H265 Plus video format enables the smart home CCTV IP camera to deliver the fastest and smoother videos and save you on storage space. So the camera works with all anarchy and third party NVRs, allowing you full utilization at four existing PoE NVRs that you may already have. So the camera does support a 256 gigabyte TF card for and audio recording. So users can save the videos locally by inserting up to a 256 gigabyte card without paying monthly fees. So the built-in microphone as well allows you to record videos as well as audio to see and hear what is going on around your property or area. So the remote access as well accesses the security camera remotely with either your phone, tablet, or whatever you have via 3G up to 5G. Customize the detection areas that you care most about and get accurate app pushes or email alerts with motion events happening in and around the area. So the IP67 waterproof ensures the camera to withstand extremely hot and cold weathers. The camera can work standalone, plug the camera to an outlet and to an adapter as we showed in the previous clips and link it to a router via the ethernet cable. Or you can simply use a PoE switch and connect a data cable straight to the router without any adapters needed. So guys, if you want to go check one of these cameras out for yourself, if you please head to the video description, there will be a link there so you can go check one of these out for yourself. So guys, there you have it. So that was the 5 megapixel CCTV camera I've just installed in my property. And you can see it just in the background there, I am now monitoring everything that is going on. And it was, it was really simple to do. I have a relatively easy access point to my camera now. So if I need to either replace the wiring or if I want to add more cameras, it's going to allow me to do it super easily. And they made it so simple. So the camera was easy. You were able to dismantle it very quickly to get the push onto the mountain position. They give us the mountain hardware. They give us everything that we physically needed to get this camera up and running. And it really was super, super simple. Now, yes, in the future, I am gonna get more of these cameras. I wanted to see roughly what they were like first before I made the bigger purchase or anything like that to get more of these. But I have to admit, I'm, I am, um, it is unbelievable. I can move the camera to wherever I want. I have full control of the camera and the audio. Uh, and I can also change the settings, well, whether um, the brightness is too much, the contrast, the saturation, you name it. I, can, I have full access now uh, via the software through Windows. But the great thing is if I am away from the property and I don't have access to the computer, I also have it via my phone. So I can now watch 24 seven, and this allows me up to 16 cameras at the same time via my phone. Now that is unbelievable. So every time I leave the house, I'm also gonna get notifications via my phone, via text or via email, whether something is going on. So plus, if I get a parcel delivered to my house, a lot of parcel companies normally leave them on your doorstep. I can now monitor that. So if anyone wants to steal my parcels, good luck. But in the end of the day, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Thank you very much for Anarchy for sponsoring this video and hooking us up with one of your amazing bullet C500 security cameras. But in the end of the day, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. And just remember, links are all down in the description for where you can find these. And you will not be dissatisfied. One, it's an extremely cheap camera, but it is extremely high quality. You will not get this sort of camera and prices anywhere else. Links in the description, but as always guys, if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.